the latest in shocking beach wear. Guaranteed to keep you dry in the roughest water, the suits will even scare away the fish. Ah, oh, yes, these costumes are up to the minute and up to the knee. My, my, what won't they think of next? Old Mr. Dalton, the trillionaire, receives a visit from his son, Jack, played by Sidney Drew. Jack loves his father for his whiskers and his money. The beautiful secretary, Clara Kimball Young, attracts our hero's eye, and it's love at first sight. Or is that hay fever? Meanwhile, foul villains plot against Clara, but Jack Dalton, who just happens to be passing by, becomes suspicious. He listens in on their scurvy plan to get Clara alone. Nosy, isn't he? Clara arrives at the appointed place. Nobody here. to the rescue. He's prepared for anything from a gin rummy game to jiu-jitsu. Naturally, there's a chase, but Jack is full of tricks. He'll save her life even if it kills her. A one, a two, a three. Things aren't going so well for the Daltons. There isn't anything left to eat in the house, so Clara feeds the children ration coupons. So they decide to put the bite on father with a touching Christmas Eve appeal. But the trillionaire won't be touched and turns them out into the cold, cruel night. The meanie. knocks off the trillionaire with his Buck Rogers six-shooter. The old guy is shot right in the middle of Christmas Eve. Sensing trouble, Jack Dalton hurries back, but too late, the old man is out for the duration. The villain's plan is all too clear. He'll pin it on Jack and let him take the rap. return to the scene of the crime. He seems to have forgotten a few minor clues. She accuses him. There's a struggle and a shot. Why, he wasn't dead after all. The police are called. save Jack from the electric chair, or worse. I didn't do it. He says he didn't do it. I didn't do it. He says he didn't do it. Aha, uh -huh, foiled again. Curse you, Jack Dalton. Ah, crime does not pay.
father is a buttermilk addict. His friends insist he have one more drink before leaving. Well, why not? But that last glass of buttermilk was too much for him. He's plastered and acts like a fiend to his loving wife and child. But a cup of mother's coffee straightens him out. A cup of mother's coffee would straighten out a corkscrew. The child has a couple of tickets to a play, and father is talked into going, even though he has a taste in his mouth like yesterday's oatmeal. Mother plunks a doily on the child's head, and they're off to the theater. recognizes a familiar scene. The stage drunkard is now deep in the clutches of the vile liquid. Not even a heartbreaking appeal from his wife and child can reach his sodden brain. once a home-loving, gentle husband and father is now a raving maniac. he's got a hangover. Back home, father is now a new man. He swears off the stuff forever. From now on, he's strictly a family man with only Friday nights out for poker. Buttermilk, your reign of terror is over. And so the happy family spends an evening at home. Now all they have to do is make him give up that pipe.